You've probably seen it, or at the very least talked about it. It's one of Indy's best-known homes, and the current owner will soon open part of it to the public for an estate sale. The Kessler Mansion is at 4325 Kessler Boulevard East. Built by Jerry Hosteller, HGTV has featured the house as an extreme home in the past. Now we get to take you inside with RTV6's Jason Fechner. Well, it's a unique look inside one of Indianapolis's most legendary homes. The public will get to see it next weekend, but tonight we're taking you inside for a sneak peek. Anything and everything. I mean, there's something for everyone. Aether Estate Sales' Tiffany Parsons is helping to handle an estate sale for the current owner of the sprawling Kessler Mansion. Built by Mr. Big, the late Jerry Hosteller, pimp turned construction magnate. What would you say about this room? Unique? Um, very unique. 7,000 square feet <laughs> of uniqueness, for sure. Yeah, we are surrounded by uniqueness. If, uh, if these walls could talk. We probably would not want to know all the stories, no, that's we, for sure. We would not. Most of what's for sale here is part of the current owner's estate, but there are some original pieces from Jerry Hostetler, like these two statues, that will be for sale as well. This is one of the original? This is. There are a few original pieces from um, his estate, and this is one of those. Besides some of Hostetler's items, the home is packed with the current owner's items. Things like glasses, artwork, lamps, you name it. All priced to move and all spread throughout the curvaceous and sprawling ballroom. The estate sale company has been working overtime to get it all ready for next weekend. Well, you never know what you're going to come across, what you're going to find. Um, but also, um, you know, sometimes it's, it's a bit overwhelming, especially, you know, and when you have 7,000 square feet to get done. The house itself is not for sale. The current owner wants to be really clear that access to the public will only be limited to the ballroom itself. But you can still see plenty as you walk around the grounds, and it's pretty incredible to see. Reporting in Indianapolis, Jason Fechner, RTV6.